I think the journey you've taken is a good example of the story I'm trying to tell for this podcast, trying to give people an idea of what it's like to take a career path outside of academia. Yeah. 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 I mean, initially I was, um, that was not a mindset that I had at okay. all. No, I was like very academically driven. Uh, and I was just thinking that I was going to go down that road and see it right through to the end kind of deal. Yeah. Um, and it definitely had its like unexpected turns and twists in a way that uh, it, it was very suggestive to, to take an industry position. But there, there's a lot of factors in there too. I mean, like there's uh, kind of the ignorance of, of industry in general. Mm -hmm. um, and I like the institute that we were at for, for our grad school. It's like there's very few seminars and people from industry that come in. And yeah. if they do, it's like they come in from like stem cell technologies where they're just doing like development of medias and stuff like right. that, but not actually doing like, well, I don't want to shit on them for this, but not actually doing like research, research, like right. basic research kind of thing. And I, I can appreciate like their, their job is important. And that's like, if someone's interested in that, that's fantastic. Cause that's stuff we need. But at the same time, it's not the type of research I was ever interested in. Um, and then because you don't have that exposure, you're just assuming like the worst out of everything. Yeah. And you're just like, okay, well, the things I do see are things like that. And it's like, I can know that's not for me. Or the things I hear about are like the big companies. And yeah. they just like bark orders at people. And then you just like have your period in time where you're like working as a machine essentially until you get up in right. ranks and all that. So like that, that type of prospect to me was just like, nah, I, I'm not, not about that at all. Yeah. Um, and, and there's no really information on the, biotech startup scene at all. Right. Um, I mean, obviously you can look into it. Internet exists. I'm, yeah. I'm a lazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but fr from the academic side, it's like the, the biggest factors there was the, the autonomy uh, to be able to do kind of what you want and that like kind of freedom to go about it in a way that you want to go about it, which still falls in the category of autonomy. But mm -hmm. like just overarchingly that, that element of autonomy was something that was very important to me yeah. for, for career related stuff. Um, and that's something that, I mean, to this day in general, it's like anything that I do in overall, it's like, I want to have my own kind of take on it. I want to be able to do it in a way that interests me that I think will be kind of the best and I can learn from it. Because at the end of the day, it's like everything that anyone does, the if you're trying to pull an experience from something, if you're mm -hmm. not doing it in the way that you want to do it, then you're not going to be getting what, what like max value off of right. that. Right? Oh yeah, of course. I think that's, that's pretty wise. Um, but I totally agree as well. Yeah. Do, do like, do it like you mean it so you can actually get something out of the experience. Yeah, exactly. And if, if you're just being like coaxed through it, um, it's not something that has the same kind of impact as well. Like yeah. if you don't have the opportunity to fail, for example, like that's one thing that uh, people, people undervalue to the max, like, <laughs> like failing is, is not, it doesn't feel good. But yeah. that's exactly why you learn so deeply from. Oh yeah, stuff it's the like biggest that. learning experience. Yeah, because it's just a discomfort. Like any any situation, someone's put through discomfort. It's like it it does two things for you. One, it allows you to learn immensely from it, but yeah. it also gives you perspective, and it puts you in a place where, like, if you had to go through those hardships, coming out of the other end and seeing something that would be a hardship for somebody else who hasn't had hardships, yeah, is like a walk in the park for you, and you're just kind of yeah, like, true. yeah, that's great. 